Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. Today, the first impressions on the new British light cruiser, the HMN ZS Leander. This is an iconic ship for me, and yeah, there we can see with the opening salvo on this destroyer that half of the guns misfire. They just go further range and also to the right where you initially aim. The actual um, guns that hit, yeah, they have pretty good accuracy. Let's talk about for let's talk about the ship. So I first saw this uh, pattern of the guns on the dev server and I expected it to be fixed. You know, dev server. This is where f bugs are um, open for public, and so the public reports them. I guess. Seems like nobody cared, not even Gaijin, nobody at Gaijin played this ship, not even a test drive. Or if they did, they thought, yeah, this is historically broken, comrade. I don't know, this is beyond me. I have no words for this, I'm not angry about this, I'm not raging about this, but... Gaijin, please fix your game, it's about damn time. Okay, we said this for the past few years, but whatever. Please do it for a change, and not just flood us with broken, expensive, not working, boring content. That would be nice for a change. Okay, finally, let's talk about the ship itself, aside from the broken guns. What is the ship like? So, first of all, let's talk about the armor, and the armor is very weird. I've never seen a ship anything like this in War Thunder. Um, yeah, the main citadel side armor is 76mm, that's kind of average. The bulkhead is 25mm, the deck armor is then 32mm. Then we have some massive gaps, we have a strange armored deck somewhere hanging in the air. Then we also have the frontal ammo rack buried deep down in the ship, way below the waterline, protected by 89mm of angled armor with a bulkhead of 76mm. That's nice. But the top part is missing, and then there is a massive gap, and then comes the yeah, <laughs> then comes the deck armor of 32mm, which is then lower than the one on the main citadel. The barbats of the four 6 inch double turrets are very long, only 25 millimeters. The turrets themselves, only 25 millimeters all around, very easy to break, even with AG. You have four of them, and uh, yeah, so we have overall eight 6 inch guns. That explains probably the battle rating. So the armor then for the rear magazine is as strong, but it's not really that much angled. The bulkheads are the same 76mm and we have a deck armor of 51mm, but that is raised way out of the water. The ammo racks are in fact, well, um, above the waterline for the rear magazine. So front ammo rack pretty good, rear magazine not so much. So here I duel now enemy ships, and yeah, let's talk about the um, effective DPM, etc., the overall statistics of the guns. We have a rate of fire, or a reload rather, of 7.5 seconds, that's on par with the German light cruisers. But obviously it doesn't have the fantastic 6 second reload for the USS Brooklyn, that has 15 6 inch guns. So that already uh, gives this ship an effective DPM of 64 rounds per minute. Okay, but only half the shells go towards the enemy target reliable. Here we can see uh, the in contrast it very good. Look at this dispersion pattern. That's just disgusting. So the effective DPM is 32 compared to the USS Brooklyn, which has 150 rounds per minute. That means you have only a fifth of the DPM of the Brooklyn. And for that you only get a battle rating reduction of 0.3 or one battle rating step. Oof. So let's talk about the ammunition. Maybe that is special. Yeah, not really. So you only have two shell types. So your stock HE shell carries 3.6 kilograms of lidets. So that's practically TNT. And it's okay-ish, I guess. It's 6 inch gunfire at the end of the day. And then as a tier 1 upgrade you get the second and last upgraded semi-armor piercing ballistic cap 6 inch CPBC that carries 1.7 kilograms of lidded. 
and has 8 inch of penetration power or 203 millimeter at point at 1000 meters not really that impressive but it works as we just saw here versus this omaha and um, now we come to the end boss and that is obviously the kms Kern. one gun turret is knocked out plane is coming in um, there is then also multiple other ships shooting at me not a very good position to be in and then a torpedo hits the front of the ship i'm flooding i'm on fire half my propulsion is knocked out i'm only at 12 percent crew 11 percent the helm is taken out the bridge is taken out i'll die here no doubt about this so that is effectively the first gameplay and the second gameplay will be of a somewhat bizarre nature we will see this very same map just in a very different game mode once again and we'll see how this works out but first obviously i have therefore to die So now the same map, different game mode, which has spawned and we will come around the corner of this island in just a moment and we will face in a very balanced way enemy cruisers at shooting distances of under 5 kilometers. Hooray for Gaijin maps design and balance. Okay, so in this gameplay I want to show you four very interesting kills and I uh, want to give you further examples with every single salvo how the guns are broken. Now in this rainbow I do not expect you to realize which salvo is mine and which is probably from other ships. But facing here the uh, USS Brooklyn and not just once but two, three, four of them at once you only can hope that they don't fire at you and do, that you get some lucky shots like a turret disabling shot or whatever. I already hit the first enemy ship and uh, hit some more ships and that is great, disabled some turrets, did some damage. I lost a gun turret myself, they are very fragile. Um, if anybody is specifically aiming for them there is not that much that you can do. Your secondaries are not really that impressive. Your secondaries don't have even some flux shells. And again, your main guns only have the stock HE, SHE, and SAP, a semi armor piercing. You have no base use HE, also have no flux shells of any sort for your main guns. Then we hit the Kirov, good stuff. We disabled again a gun turret. The super firing one, we get off another salvo. I immediately switch fire here to this USS Brooklyn. And now watch. Now watch what happens over the course of the next few seconds. So um, we get him down to 72%. He fires at us. Ooh. And now we hit the smoke funnel. I pull a notza out of tactical reasons because stopping broadside in front of an enemy uses Brooklyn is the smartest thing that there is to do. I just hit the fuel tank and now watch. He's ticking down, he's ticking down, he's ticking down, crew is ticking down and I destroyed him without hitting an ammo rack. Uh, okay, I take that kill. I'm very thankful that I'm alive, but that was very RNG. Apparently Gaijin has introduced now a new mechanic and removed now the disruption capabilities of the torpedo tubes. So you still can hit the torpedo tubes, but that will not uh, cause a torpedo detonation anymore, uh, regardless if you hit them with AP or AG, even though torpedoes are inside there. That is good, but therefore then they introduced some sort of fuel tank burn down explosion. I switched fire now to the HMS Dido. And now watch what damage that I do to him. First hit on the bridge, costing him 15 crew. Helm is down, he's going in a straight line, predictable target. I receive quite a paddling myself, 
try to get here desperately behind the island. It's also very punishing that out of my four screws only one is disabled and that reduces my speed to half. Further hits going in on the enemy's ship. Thanks to the propulsion partial knockout, I here skillfully dodge some torpedoes. Now again I switch here to the USS Brooklyn. And I'm not firing at the HMS Tito anymore and still he's ticking down. Now the hit camera is there for the USS Brooklyn and I get the kill on the Dido after all this time. I think he had a great game. Gaijin, please remove this feature. This is complete randomness. This is RNG at its finest. This is just very discouraging playing the game. When it happens to me, I just rage quit. Yeah, there is no other word because there is just no point. Huge repair costs, very bad income, broken economy, broken guns, broken ships, complete lack of balance of any sort. This is just disgusting. And I'm one of the few guys actually, you know, presenting you the ships. I hope that Gaijin just introduces new fun game modes that they use their knowledge that they use their skill that they have proven in the past to create something that is cool that is fun worth playing where then if it is would if it would be really cool i'd even be willing to spend money on but this where half the shells just go somewhere especially when you shoot try to shoot up here a patrol boat that obviously wants to go for the b cap yeah, every shell counts because you have your natural dispersion. Yeah, and now I realize there is a Kirov, so let's hope that we can uh, do something about this guy. I aim for the front ammo rack, or yeah, the magazines, if you will. Shells land, and in fact, we ignite the ammunition, but he's not down yet, so I shoot for the rear part of the ship. And before the shells land, he explodes. Okay, that is understandable. If the ammunition is burning, it can blow up at any point. Okay, I understand this. Now let's switch to HE and let's try to finish this little bugger here. Okay, let's do some ripple fire. There you can see quite beautifully how just only every second shell lands in the vicinity of this MTB1. And I was quite lucky that it was a direct hit. And so I got my fourth kill of this game. In naval realistic battles and I guess also in arcade there are quite some things wrong with the overall gameplay experience. Random unlocking and locking on other targets that just are in the line of fire. Shooting short by half above 10 kilometers distance when for example shooting at enemy players but also the AI units. Then also, in this case, with this ship, only half the guns shooting where you aim them. AI gunners that at times just don't work. And then also the orientation pattern of the turrets, where if you don't pay close attention to it, the turrets just refuse to turn around if you just look not quite exactly at their specific firing angle. This is very annoying, especially if this will cost you your life because you didn't have the amount of firepower ready and also if you just had to wait for the turning. This happens very often and I have no understanding, I have no I have no respect for the state of the game. I don't get it. And uh, you can see I'm now going in the, into the rant mode, so that's all that is worth watching for this ship, sadly, very sadly. Gaijin, this is the Royal Navy, have some respect. I know for you it's all about Mother Russia and uh, the rest that makes money, but come on, it's the Royal Navy, give them a good cruiser, or at least give them a cruiser that is not deliberately broken. Because this is... It hurts my brain if I think about it. 
everybody that I told about this, even people that are not playing the game, they just laughed at this when I told them this. They just, <laughs> they just couldn't believe that this is possible for a company of that size that has such a project that there is this lack of quality control that there is this lack of playing the game by the devs nobody's reporting this and i have my hands full with testing new content with making videos on a daily basis creating reviews rendering them uploading them thumbnails i cannot do everything by myself so i hope that the community reports this and i hope that gaijin even cares about fixing this and once this ship gets fixed and the guns shoot in a proper way all of them all of them gaijin not just half of them half of the guns shooting where you aim is not good enough on a ship that has only half the guns of the other light cruiser that is now the flavor of the month by the way i might do a review on it quick look at the post battle results and for a win with four kills we got just 20,000 civil lines and 4,644 vehicle research points yeah that's it for me today thanks for watching thanks for listening i hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section i'm very interested to read those uh, regardless where you stand i think this is hilarious give this video a thumbs up if you agree a thumbs down if you think that i'm wrong and this is all fine subscribe to me if you want to see more and we'll see each other in the skies on the battlefields and on the waves of war thunder